Hello, Taurus. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Let's go ahead and get into this. Thank you, God, for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's going on for my Taurus. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me, Taurus. All right, let's see. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. Okay, so heart with a key. Um, you're welcoming new love, meeting the one, open your heart, you're getting together something or someone is just going to be perfect for you. So it's like a heart and somebody's got the key to your heart. This is like a perfect match here. So that's very good, especially if you're single. All right, let's see. What else is going on for Taurus? The chaser. Ooh. Okay. So I don't know if somebody wants you to chase them or some of you were in or are in a codependent relationship. Somebody just has fear of abandonment issues. They don't want to deal with. So what does that mean? Because you can hear all these cliches each and every day. Fear of abandonment issues. This is somebody who just doesn't want to feel the space of void when a person, place or thing leaves their life. So Instead of me uh, feeling the void, I'll just keep it in my life. Like instead of me leaving this um, toxic relationship, this hurtful person, I don't want to feel all of the emotions that I'm going to feel when they leave. I don't want to do all that. I don't want to cry. I don't want it is. I'll just stay with them. I'll just stay here. I'll just stick with it. So we've got a chaser here, somebody who is always chasing. This is also somebody here who always is looking for validation too, chasing after validation, um, they don't like being left or um, they don't like the fact that something didn't work out or they automatically think that uh, failure is final or that uh, failure is uh, it has everything to do with them. So this is somebody who will chase. It could be you, Taurus, could be someone else. Let's see what else we got going on here for Taurus. The Phoenix, very nice. So some of you are going to rise from those ashes and you're going to leave maybe some codependent relationship alone. Some of you could rekindle. Okay, and maybe even renew there's growth or a changed mind. Maybe someone else has changed their mind. Someone else is coming, you know, out of the ashes, the phoenix rising from the ashes here. Um, somebody has been tried in the fire. Maybe your relationship went through test, trial, tribulation. And maybe you guys are going to be on the other side of, you know, the test and the trial. Let's see what's going on. Coffee cup. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay, so you're going to be meeting and conversing, savoring the moment. You're going to feel this friendship. Um, you're going to, I don't know if you're going to get around a new group of people to help take your mind off of maybe, you know, some toxic relationship. Yeah. Palm tree, maybe you might even travel or there's going to be a lot of stability, growth, security, and endurance. This is what I'm saying. Maybe the relationship went through a trying testing time here and now it's moving towards, you know, peace, calm, palm tree. Uh, this was just a, a test of your faith, a test of how strong the relationship is or was. Okay. Coffin. All right. So something is completely over. Endings bring new beginnings, growth. You've got growth showing up in these cards uh, for like a third time here. So something is really being created or recreated between you and someone else. I feel like there is a rekindling and there is a renewed mindset a changed mind maybe someone is looking at their relationship the marriage differently they don't want to leave or uh, maybe they were you know fumbling the relationship and now they're trying to pick it back up so this is really good all right okay at the bottom of the deck and then we have passion so the passion is going to be renewed you like each other equally and you're just going to have more fun with your person here Taurus. so that's am i on tours yeah Honey, I've been doing all these reasons. I don't know who I'm on. Okay, yeah. So it just looks like um, now you're going to have more fun with your person because you got through. You guys had to see, you know, it to the other side. Let's see. What is the future energy like for Taurus? Very nice lover. So you're going to fall back in love. Lots of sex, fun. Um, just chemistry here. This even could be a new person for some of you. You could be meeting the one for some of you. And then some of you, this is a renewal of a relationship. It could be like a soulmate connection. Some of you going to be very occupied with this relationship. You're going to be put a lot of work into it because you want it to work or someone is doing it. I said maybe somebody was fumbling the relationship, not putting enough behind him. Now somebody's going to pick up and do the right thing. You know, master the relationship, master their emotions 
maybe that light and dark side, maybe their shadow side, maybe what was keeping them away from you. Distant horizons. He has like somebody had some spiritual awakening here um, to what they really deserve or what they want um, or what they want in this relationship. So again, a, a changed mind and it may have come through spiritual, you know, um, spiritual movement or enlightenment, awakening. You could be a mature woman or a mature woman. Maybe gave somebody some advice here. Imprisonment. Somebody was, um, okay, that kind of threw me. Okay, so mature woman and imprisonment. I don't know if somebody was thinking negatively about a relationship with the official man. So it's like the mature woman may have been with the official man. These two people are not, you know, a match in this deck. So it was like two people who were not on the same accord. One person was about money and dealing with themselves and focusing on themselves and business and they may have even been very short with the mature woman here but she maintained and she stayed down and she stayed in this relationship and it looks like somebody's going to get a turnaround here um somebody also learned what not to say and what to do so now they're getting someone who's coming into their life as the official man okay so then we have the mature man showing up so it looks like maybe it changes how you guys deal with one another changes. So this is really good. Um, it's like you you both matured in this. Maybe you, you got together when you were really young. And now you guys are a little bit older, mature. And you're seeing the relationship through. This is really nice. Or some of you are going to get um, a marriage, a relationship later in life. And you're going to be on one accord with your person. So this is really, really good. I'm going to leave it here. Um change for the better that's what i'm gonna name is somebody really changed for the better here all right if you want to get your own personal reading go over to the website book there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can always catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time thank you taurus many blessings to you take care